Top three mistakes new living soil growers make. Number three on the list is being afraid to screw something up. The best way to learn is by screwing things up. The biggest lessons I learned along the way of my journey of gardening uh, is because I screwed something up and it stuck with me. So it's not going to be the end of the world. You're going to screw things up along the way. Yes, it's great if everything goes perfect, but I can guarantee you things are never, ever, 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 ever going to go perfect. So it's okay if things don't go perfect sometimes. Number two on the list is over applying fertilizers, top dresses, and teas. What I like to call over loving your plants. Every single person at some point when you're growing in living soil will do this. It just happens. Um, you think a little bit is good, so a whole lot is better. And at some point you're gonna overdo it. Um, and even if you don't overdo it all at once, if you overdo it in small increments, cumulatively it's going to add up at some point and it could very well bite you in the ass. So don't overdo it. It's always best get a soil test, get a sap test, test your water and only give your plants what they need. Number one mistake new living soil growers make is over and under watering. Um, I think everybody takes it for granted after you've been gardening for quite some time about how much or how little to water, but as a new grower it can be extremely confusing and you will at some point overwater and underwater. Luckily, we have tools that can make this not a problem anymore, which more people need to use. And if you talk to me for longer than five minutes and you're not using one of these, I'm going to suggest you use one. So, use an aerometer in your soil. You'll never overwater, you'll never underwater as long as you pay attention to what's on the gauge. It's that simple of a fix. And then you can solve that issue and your, your plants should be healthy, the root zone should be healthy, and you can focus on other things. So those are the top three mistakes new living soil growers make. Now, to be fair, this list could have been extremely long, but I wanted to condense it down so that it wasn't a super long video and just kind of name the top three things we see people have issues with. And if you can get those three things under control, gardening is gonna be so much easier for you and there's really no reason you should have those problems because the tools exist for you not to create those problems because ultimately it is you creating those problems and not your plants.